all right um i'm just coming back with another a video man you know a lesson just going back into you know just keeping integrity you know being honest with yourself um not not proving anything to anybody you know what i'm saying but proving you know first and foremost y'all by shimmy was shy but to yourself because in this world that we live, man, we have people, there's people that are always constantly judging you, constantly looking at you a certain way, don't trust you, think you're, you're, uh, you're not right, or, you know, just thinking all, all of man, a manner of, 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 of negative, you know, like if they're on some type of level. You know, like if they have the ability to discern their own outcomes, which the scriptures clearly tell us that we don't have that ability. Not even the angel Uriel was able to tell the life for the ending of um, Ezra's. Okay, so how much more us? You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm, I'm going into is because... We want Yahweh Bashmi Shai doesn't want men that are that are brainwashed, that are governed, um, and controlled. He wants it done through the spirit, through the the moving of the spirit of 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 him, of the word. And the commandments is is the ultimate the ultimate way for us to see and look at through the scriptures that we are Commanded to do the work, commanded to rehearse the righteous acts, but do it willingly. Do it because the Spirit is in you to do it. Not because of what somebody is telling you to do. Do it because you know you have to do it. Because eventually, that's how, uh, when Yahweh Shai says you, you, you're going to walk in the Spirit, that's where you become that individual that I'm speaking to you about. As or speaking you on how you got to be, but in before that you you are taught. Don't get me wrong, but do it in in sincerity and honesty. You know what I'm saying? And like there's a there's a um a famous quote by uh, Bruce Lee that he's he's basically saying um to be honest with thyself. Like he can put on a a, a fancy you know. A great show and, and show you all the fancy movements that he would do that roughly paraphrasing what he was saying but to, to to be honest with himself is very hard to do and that's true because everywhere you go you're seeing people just put up they're acting a certain way they're putting up fronts you know what I'm saying they're not they're not who they know deep down in their heart who they really who they really are and it's okay to be afraid it's okay to be to, to, to um be weak but here in america it makes people in america there's nothing but pride and everybody seems they have to be at a certain level you know you have to uh, uh you know go according to the course of this world and, and 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 be up to you know to the standards of 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 the the rest of the people you know or they'll look down on you because you ain't into football or you ain't you don't got a certain a uh, 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 lingo you know a, a, a certain swag toward to, to meet their expectations. Fuck all that shit, man. Be honest with yourself. Be honest to Yahweh Bashim Shah because that's what's going to keep you thriving in the spirit, in the truth. Because that's what Yahweh Shah desires, man. He desires a, a sincere individual. And that and it's not even on 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 our own accord, on on your own accord. That's what Yahweh Shah put in you. That's what Yahweh Shai, that's how Yahweh Shai designed you. But if you know that, it's like going back into the book of Romans, re, um, um, returning to our first love. At least Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had turned that light out. That can't remove his candlestick or remove that like, candlestick. So we had to remember our first love, being honest with ourselves, being honest to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, knowing that we ain't shit, we're, 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 we're sinners. You know what I'm saying? We we ain't we we're not worthy of anything. We're not worthy of the kingdom. We're not worthy 
of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But there's a reason why Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai gave it to us. And and as we know that you got hundreds, if not thousands, of individuals that are falling out, that fell fell out, that they hear the word and they don't accept it. Right? And that's a big sign. To, to the ones that are still holding on Is that we have to remain humble We have to remain honest and truthful To ourselves man And to ultimately So I want to get into this real quick This is Hebrews 5 and 12 It says for when the time you ought to be teachers You have need that one teach you again Which be the first principles Of the oracles of the most high So don't get me wrong I know and I understand very clear I was taught by the elders By the brothers Certain brothers and to this very day, I'm still being taught by certain brothers and men. But certain brothers, I'm not going to say men, I'm, I'm going to say certain brothers that are in the fold, that are in the, the knowing, right? But ultimately, I come to the scriptures because Yahweh Shai is that comforter. The word is the comforter. And the word, the spirit of Yahweh Shai can work through a brother and bring you a scripture to comfort you, okay? But... What I'm trying to say is that you have to remain honest with yourself, okay? And, and and it's okay if you're at a certain level. Don't force anything. Don't try to go and meet standards of certain people or certain, or I'm going to say a certain brother. Just do what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has given you and grow thereby, okay? It says, uh, for when the time you ought to be at to be teachers you you have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of the most high and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat for everyone that that useth milk is unskillful in the word of unrighteousness for he is a babe but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil you see so coming into this to the truth because what we're taught before was nothing but lies right now coming into this truth you had to be taught all over again it's a, it's a commandment okay but you have need of milk because a baby kids you know an infant grows infants don't grow off the, at the same rate they grow different at different rates no matter how fast you feed them, no, no matter what, it's it's up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai how how things are gonna develop, and it's the same thing within broth with brothers, you know, um, you know just just you know not take your time, not sit back, not not none of that stuff. I'm not ta talking about that. I'm not trying to, you know, say any of that kind of. Stuff. I'm saying that being honest with yourself, man. You know what I'm saying, and other brothers that are that are over other brothers. Have to respect that, okay? Now, there's going to come a time where you're going to exhort, admonish, things of that nature, yes. And it's going to be up to that individual, to the spirit, though, to Yahweh Shai moving him to that next level, okay? But first, he's unskillful, but he, he, he needs the use of milk. And the milk is what? The basics. And that's what is very important. To this very day, you know, as 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 being in, as long as I have, the milk scriptures are very heavy. They have a big impact on a lot of individual people's doctrines and and things of that nature. So even as myself, I'm still a bit. I don't know everything. There's a lot of things in the scriptures I don't I don't understand, you know. But to the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, what He's given me, that's what I I use. Towards the ministry to the body Towards the calling that he's given me To draw in or to warn the people Whatever he's using me for That's what I'm doing You know what I'm saying So from there Let me go to First Peters 2 First Peters 2 And uh, Just this phone, everything on this phone has been acting up, so just brothers bear with me. This is First Peters 2 and 1. Wherefore, lay, lay aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. Right? So lay, lay, lay aside all the bullshit. B 
be honest with yourself. Be be what Yahweh Shemal Shai tells us to be a good servant, a good steward. Okay, not not putting on a act, not acting like you're you're somebody, when you know really you ain't nobody. You know, I know I ain't nothing. I've always confessed that in my life, I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nobody. And I always depended and always looked towards the scriptures. You know, even before I came into the truth, I always looked towards the scriptures. You know, but, you know, the way things happen, how wish I set things up for me to fall into what I know now. The point is, is that I always look to the scriptures. Because, you know, and, and it, people in the world, they didn't have an answer for me. You know, so Yahweh Shai sent the brothers, you know, and the elders and, and certain things. A lot of things were broken down to me to understand, you know. But I, as a as an as individual person, I had to separate all the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? All the, 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 the you know, the negativity, the everything, and, and, and accept this word as a, as a child, man. Because a child, yeah, you know, we know children can be hard-headed, stubborn, but then you have certain children that that uh are honest with themselves. They're honest. You know? And that's what Yahweh Bashim Shai is looking for. He's looking for those good children, the children, the obedient children that are honest with themselves. Not trying to act like somebody, not trying to mimic what they see on TV, you know. That 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 respect their father and mother. You know? There's children that are actually like that, man. And that's what Yahweh Shai is looking for, you know. So it says, lay, of, lay aside all malice and all guile, hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. You know, and guile is what? It's like lies. Stop lying, you know. You know what I'm saying? Just be honest with yourself, man. And, 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 and you'll grow into what, you'll grow into what Yahweh Shai needs you to be. Whether anybody hears or forbears, it don't matter. But you know that Yahweh Shai is dealing with you. Verse 2, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You see? So the milk is very important step in the growth uh, towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Into receiving salvation, into, into being, you know, a man of the Lord. Is the milk. Okay. But your baby can't grow without it. You know. The baby would die. It would wither away. You can't feed it water. Okay. It has to, a certain time when it's in its growth. It's, then you can give it water. But in the, as in the, infants, infants, the, infants, the infant stages of, of the babe is, is nothing but milk. Then at a certain age, you can start giving it water. You start mixing the, um, you know, like rice or oatmeal into its its milk to give it more of a, you know, substance to hold down its food. Because its stomach, everything is developing to where it can't just hold liquid. It needs something to, to, to weigh it down now. Okay? But still, it, it depends on that milk. Okay, as newborn babes desire desi desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby, and the only way you're gonna grow thereby is if you're honest with yourself, if you're being honest. You know what I'm saying? And and whether whether a brother and anybody in the world don't want if they don't believe you, fuck them, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, not 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 fuck the brother, but I'm saying like to the people in the world, fuck them. Okay, but if a brother don't believe you. Hey, then Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will show him one day that, you know, you are an honest brother. You are a sincere brother. You know, we all have our flaws. We ain't better than nobody. You know what I'm saying? But it says, as newborn babes desire the milk, the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai, he is that milk. He is that water. He is that wine. All right? He is that bread. He is that fish. He is that that meat. You know, he's that lamb. 
Nike is life. Okay, the greens. So we had to lay aside all that, all the bullshit, and be honest with yourself. Okay, look at the story of Job, man. He was honest with himself. You know. He was honest, and in and through all that honesty, he didn't he didn't sin. Why? Because everything that he was speaking was the truth. He knew he was just a man. He knew he wasn't shit. But the thing that 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 he hoped and depended on was the word. Don't ever speak against the word. But you can speak against yourself. You can speak about speak against, you know, the uh, the 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 things that the the seven abominable things that the Most High hates because those seven abominable things that the Most High hates reside in men, reside in women. You know. There's nothing wrong with 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 uh with that, with hating that. But don't hate the word, you know. Hate the things that are evil. As Yahweh Shai, they hate they hate the wicked man. They hate wickedness. You know. It says verse three. If so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, when you start seeing that the Lord is gracious. How this word resonates with you and how it makes you have confidence, you know, and in, 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 in the different benefits that it provides, it comes with. You start appreciating the word, man. You know, you start to appreciate Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai. You know, because, you know, you start to find out that your 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 parents your 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 woman your girlfriend whatever your wife it they your family friends they 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 don't have what what you what what you're looking for you know and you start acknowledging that but like the scriptures say knowledge pu puffeth up you know and you don't want to get to that level. You know, I'm speaking to brothers that ha have that broken and contrite spirit and, and they feel a certain way about themselves. And, you know, um, and whether you want to call it insecurities or, or not, it don't fucking matter because even grown ass men have insecurities. OK, the only time a, a grown man don't have insecurities is whenever they're at their point of death. All right, because the scriptures say and. um uh, the book of Ecclesiastes in in the days of of of, of a, a man's youth, right? Let me let me get it real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes eleven and uh, eight. It says, "But if a man live many years and and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity." Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things, Yahweh shall bring thee into judgment. You see? So, when you're, when you're young, you're, you're, you're in your prime, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you think you're at, that shit's vanity. You know? Because you have... Like I said, there's some children. That's why Yahweh Shai likens the elect, you know, the, his sheep as children. You have to come as a child because there's children out here that have more integrity and more honesty than men. You know? But like I said, you, the only time men start to really put away those insecurities is when they're, on, they're, they're about to die. They, they want to humble themselves. They want to they act a certain way. You know, when you should have been doing that a long time ago, man. That's why the word is here. And I know th this world is, is, is rough and shit like that. And it can make you feel a certain way. And you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that's that's fine. You know, because the scriptures say, oh, surely oppression make it the wise man man. You know, uh, Lot, Lot, Lot being an example in the book of Peter said that the, uh, the wickedness, the unrighteousness of the wickedness of wickedness of the wicked. Vex his soul, man. 
you know, vexed them on a daily. But that's where we have to be honest with ourselves, man. Not when we're about to die. Not when, you know, something bad happens. We have to keep that integrity. That upright spirit. That, that, that loyalty. Nowadays, you can't find people that are loyal, man. People are full of shit. Everywhere you go, people are fucking full of shit. And, and and don't get me wrong, I have my days, I have my times where I am full of shit. You know? But there's a lot of people that, that know me, that knew me, and that they know. And I ain't speaking about my, I ain't trying to boast of none of that shit. I'm just telling you through, through what men spoke out of their own mouth. That I was always somebody that they could uh, uh, depend on or... Um, they knew that I was a good friend, you know, but don't get me wrong, I have my, my mistakes, you know, but that was something that I learned from my early childhood. Nobody taught me, I'd have no examples of, 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 of seeing that from any man, you know. So what does that leave me to think that Yahweh Bashim Shai designed me that way? And to this very way, to this very day, it's that way, and 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 being a, that type of person, and I'm not talking about just being blunt. You know, you got certain guys that 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 thinking blunt, being blunt, is is what gains you respect or that that uh that acknowledgement from individual people. You know, to a certain extent, it does. Don't get me wrong, because I've been there before too, but. It's it's how it's how you you deal with these individual people. What what it, are you there for them? You know what I'm saying? Are you there to back them up? You know, are you there to give to them? Not just rebuking and not just calling it how you, how you see it. Yeah, it may be that way, but there's a certain way you approach certain things. You know what I'm saying? So all that arrogancy, that pomp, that pride is, is is going to go out of the window, man. And that's what Yahweh Bashmi was shy is purging, you know, out of individual brothers and bringing them to that childlike way, man. Even myself. But going back to what I'm trying to say is that we have to keep that integrity. We have to keep integrity, self-dignity, right? Honesty, not acting like somebody that you're not. You know, remember who you were, remember who you were, you are, the good things, the good qualities. I ain't talking about still staying in the in the mind frame of as a of a, a docile individual, simple minded individual. I ain't talking about I'm talking about the good qualities because us being where we're at, whether you be in your twenties, your thirties, forties, you still have a memory of certain things that you had as a as a child and how they match up with the scriptures and 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 we are not to lose that okay by be, being honest having a, a sense of compassion mercy not just a hard ass all the time you know because Yahweh Bashim al Shai says for that for all these things Yahweh will, will bring thee into judgment just like Joe says, shall are, are we? Um, let me, you know, let me bring it here from the sword. And I know, you know, it may sound like I'm not making sense or I'm not getting to the point, but I don't give a fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's that's the thing. And I, you know, certain brothers give, say Jake don't have, they have a short attention span. It's time to wake out of that shit. That's a fucking kid. Grow up already. When I when I when I'm saying that, is because. You can't make up excuses as far as for individuals like that. These videos are meant to teach you. It's for you to learn, to sit down and listen. This, this thing wasn't, this thing isn't designed for entertainment, for a popularity contest. This is, this is designed to feed brothers that are in need, you know? This is a, 
uh, Job 2. Job 2 and 10. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh what? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Right. So, um, Sh shall we receive uh, good and not evil? You know? You have to think about that, man. You know? Because Yahweh Bashimah was shy. It says, for all these things, Yahweh will bring thee into judgment. You know? But it's the good that's going to outweigh the bad. You know? Being sincere, honest. You know? Sometimes, you know, I've, I've, I've learned to, to the, uh, what, well, like, well, you know what, like the scriptures say, a soft word turneth away wrath, right? We know a soft word can also humble people and draw out, um, certain things from individual people. Now, if somebody don't want to be in, in the truth, all you got to do is just ask them. You know, are you real? You know, not saying are you real, but you know what I'm saying? You just got to ask, talk, communicate, you know, instead of always just, you know, assuming or being presumptuous, right? I'm trying to find that scripture where, see if I can find where it's at. This is a uh, Proverbs 15 and 1. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger, you know. So, you know, I know, like I said, you know what I'm saying, it seems like I'm just jumping around or whatever, but, you know, there's a lot of things that are on my mind right now. And, and things that I'm remembering from when I first came into the truth, man, you know, I was, you know, about pleasing Yahweh Bashim Shai. you know, doing things that, that, you know, I, what I'm saying is that, you know, when I first came into the truth, I didn't have a camera. For three years, being out on the highways and the byways every weekend, three years without a camera. You know, I spoke to certain brothers in Dallas that are uh, no longer there within the camp. But I always had uh, been in contact with the brothers there in Dallas. The ones that um, that did want to keep up with uh, with me and the other brother here in our in our city. And uh, for three years. And I always felt that I was going off because I didn't have a camera. But, you know, a certain brother told me that, well, you know, he's not a brother no, now, but told me that Yahweh Bashmi Shai knows. And and that that is a sincere response. That's a sincere response. You know what I'm saying? And... Yes, you have to get a camera. Yeah, you got to uh, let your light shine. But your light, the light is being shined regardless. You know? So, you know, it's just, like I said, just a lot of things that I'm, I've been thinking about, you know, and remembering. And just going into, you know, how younger brothers are coming in. and Brothers have to, uh, you know, keep your integrity. You know? Remain honest. And and don't act like you're something that you're not, man. If you could, if you believe in this truth, be as the scriptures say. You're as a newborn child, man, and you're drinking milk. You're not you're not a prophet yet. You don't we don't even to this very day. I don't even claim to be a prophet. Okay, I'm just somebody. I'm just a vessel. How Bashmi Al Shai is using to push this word. Okay, um, let's go over here to. 
Romans 14 and 1. It says, see, this, this phone's messed up. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful dis disputations. All right. So, because we know not every brother is at the same level as another brother. Okay. And then seeing certain brothers on a high level can bring, you know, doubt or, you know, discourage a discouraging spirit to a brother that is of a lower degree. You know, but we have to be mindful of those brothers, man. The mindful of those brothers that that can, you know, being weak is not always a bad thing, man. Yahweh Shai said in, 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 his, in, our, in our weakness, his strength is manifested. Because that weak brother could be potentially the elect and make it. You know, so him that is weak is faith in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful disput dis disputations. Right, meaning uh, uh, doubtful, uh, um, you know, thoughts. You know, looking at the brother a certain way because he he he, he ain't at a certain level, that, the level that you think he should be at. You know. Verse two: For one believeth that he may eat all things; another, who is weak, eateth herbs. You know, and even at, at that, he for one believeth that he he may eat all things. That can be to someone's downfall, you know, not 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 going in in a certain in the, in the process of Yahweh Shem Shai. What did Paul say? He said that Apollos watereth and he planteth, or vice versa. But Yahweh Shai is who is the one that giveth the in increase. Yahweh Shem Shai. So it's up to them on how fast or how slow an individual is going to be. Okay, but within all that, whether you're you're growing fast or slow, you still have to maintain those 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 important qualities that I was just me made, mentioning early about being sincere, honest, man. Keep having integrity. You know, pleasing Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, because that's what Yahweh Shai. Look, he knows our hearts, man. He knows what he needs for individual brothers, and it's all the same qualities. It's all the same quality. We just come in different, uh, we come in different angles with the scriptures and, and trying to, uh, per, you know, persuade men and convince individuals, you know, and, and the saving of the soul and things of that nature. But we all have to have the same quality that he's looking for, which is that spirit. And the spirit is what? It tells you in the book of Galatians chapter 5. All right. But it says one for one believeth that he may eat all things another who is weak eateth herbs so he, he eats them he's still at you know at that level of, of, a, of a of a babe that just eats the, veg the vegetation you know he ain't he ain't eating meat yet <clears throat> you know and it's okay there's nothing wrong with that you know let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for Yahweh hath received him. You see? So a brother that comes in, right? There's that parable where the angels rejoice over one sinner rather than 99 sheep that are saved. But that one that was, that was redeemed and bought back, they rejoice. It's the same thing, man. You know? the same thing with us on the earth and you have to uh raise them right certain brothers are not ready for certain things they can't they're not meant to hear certain things or you know uh, uh, uh because it can uh, offend them you know now if they ask questions regarding a certain thing that that is of, of a higher level individual brother should be at that can hold that you know that that strong that strong wine then con you go into a little you know here a little there a little you know the brother wants to rush he wants to eat and you tell him hey man hey slow down just take 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 your time you know 
don't 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 step back don't step out of your lane i'm here i'm here to help you i'm here to watch you i'm watching for you helping you because you know we can be so destructive we can you know run off, run off a down cliff you know not realizing that there's a down the uh the there's a cliff on on the you know coming up soon man we gotta have a second pair of eyes and shit like that you know can't see every single thing you know but ultimately y'all my shy is is gonna uh it's gonna guide you it's gonna guide us you know certain brothers have brothers with them they're, they're gonna guide you help you you know but ultimately always come back to the scriptures man always come back to the scriptures all right and no matter what you know whatever Yahweh has given you that that's what he's given you you know and it's not to be despised or don't neglect it you know pray to Yahweh Shai to increase you you know to, to covet the, the the greater gifts of the spirit which is a prophecy you know and, and if the Lord will you'll receive it but little by little you don't want to choke. It's like it says, "Eat what that is. Eat what is thou what is sufficient for thee." Talking about honey, you know. But we can't despise nor have doubtful disp disputations. You know, disputes or assumptions or, you know, things of that nature. Let the brother grow. You know, admonish him, exhort him. Basically, just communicate with, him. hang out with him. You know. There's a lot of brothers out there that need that. You know? It says, verse 4, Who art thou that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be, be holden up. For Yahweh was able to make him stand, you see? So it says, For his own master he standeth or falleth. To his own master he standeth or falleth. Who is our master ultimately? Yahweh Shai. You know? And it's only through him that he's able to make us stand. You know? Or because Yahweh Shai, they don't um, cause us to, to err or to sin. It's through our own lusts that we go off and which causes us to fall. So Yahweh Shai is going to back away because you continue to go into that um you know you continue to be rebellious or hard headed stiff neck you know towards the word but it says yea he shall be holding up for Yahweh was able to make him stand you know because he's 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 growing he's in the growing process he's still he's still doing what he's supposed to do you know Yahweh Shai has chosen him but you have to keep that integrity. You have to keep that humble and contrite spirit. It says one man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. It says let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You see? So every man has to be fully persuaded in his own mind. Okay? Not by the mind of someone else. You have to be fully persuaded. That's why Paul said in, in, in Philippians 2, seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You know? Seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because Yahweh Shai is our ultimate guide. Yahweh Shai is our ultimate deliverer. Okay? brothers are there to help you know support like to encourage to exhort to admonish to rebuke you know but at the end of the day we're all on our own basically I ain't trying to sound like no lone wolf and you know lone ranger type I'm talking about it's the truth the scriptures are there to back what I'm saying up this is Philippians 2 and 12 wherefore my beloved as as you have 
always obey not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling you know so Paul was with the with with these individuals with the you know brothers and and he saw that they were being obedient but he he told them you know now much more in my absence you know that's why I'm I'm, I'm bringing up that integrity being honest with yourself you know you can have 20 brothers yeah they're all going out but you don't know you know you don't know anything you don't really know if they're sincere or whatever and that's not really any of our place to really know but you know at the time will show it you know that day what it first talks about in First Corinthians chapter three that the fire is gonna it's gonna try every man's work. That's how we're gonna know. You know. Um. Uh, like I said, Slakif ain't making sense, but the the whole point of the video is just being honest with yourself and 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 remembering those 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 characteristics as children. That we have to keep and hold to the very end. Loyalty, honesty, faith. You know, faith is like a child. A child has faith in his parents that they're gonna feed they're gonna feed him, they're gonna catch him when he falls or if he jumps, the the dad tells him to jump and he catches him. That takes faith. You know? The child falls and scrapes up his knee, the the father and mother go and rush and pick him up. Uh, uh, bind up his wounds Comfort him You know You have to have faith man We have to have faith In Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai And the word Which is the, the uh, That's where Yahweh Shai comes in the, in the engrafted word man Compiled in a book That is the volume of a book That is written of him That's why it's important that we eat This 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 roll you know but going back to like Elijah and uh, uh, John and Rebel they were those were great men of higher position positions you know but certain brothers are not all we're not all at the same level you know certain brothers they're going to eat the whole roll but they're not going to get the full as far as like they're not going to get the lie of a prophet you know what I'm saying um See, see what I got next. Like I said, this is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, it'll be edifying to some brothers. Some brothers understand where I'm coming from. You know. Uh. Let's see. At First Corinthians. Oh yeah. First Corinthians eight and I'll start at verse uh first Corinthians eight and eight but meat commendeth us not to to the most high for neither if we eat are we the better neither if we eat not are we the worse. You see so you know, some brothers get into certain higher you know different books and stuff like that you know but that's that's good to know it says not be not the scriptures say not to be ignorant of small and great matter but it, you're you're, ne you're neither better nor nor if he that eat it says but meat commendeth us not to the most high for neither if we eat are we the better neither if we eat not are we the worse but take heed, least by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. You know. It says so. You you we're neither we're neither better or worse. You know that's why you, when certain brothers come in, you gotta you gotta um know how to bait to be a base like P, uh, uh Paul said and uh, Philippians. Let me bring it out. 
Oh, you know what? Right here. You know what was that? What was that? Uh, I don't know why I'm bringing it right there. Let me bring it out right here. Philippians. Let's see, where's it at? Philippians four. This is Philippians 4 and 11. Not that I speak in respect of want. They're not doing this for any type of respect or, or to be seen of anybody. I'm doing this because, like I said, I was thinking about certain things and how we have to be honest with ourselves, man. Like like I said, um, like it says in Corinthians, examine thyself whether you be in the truth. Right? At least you be reprobates. So it says, not that I want, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and, and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things to Yahweh Shammashiach, which strengtheneth me, you know. And that's 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 what we have to re, be uh, remember, you know, is that we have to be um, know how to abound, you know, and and to certain brothers' levels, man. You know, we have to. Um, there's well, there's just, there's two of them that come to mind, but let me bring them up right here on the sword real quick. Or oh, willing I can find one of them. All right, Let's see. The other one is in the book of Romans. Right, Romans 12. And Let's see. Romans 12 and verse 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that, that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not, mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. All right. So we have to uh, condescend, condescend to men of low estate, man. We, when a young brother comes in, you have to go to his level, you know. Um, and 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 be at that brother's level. You know what I'm saying? To to raise him up, to bring him up to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, it's Yahweh Shai doing it, doing all these things. You know. But that's that's what Paul had learned. You know, on how to be abased, and how it says that we have to uh, not mind high things because you got certain brothers that are high-minded man you know certain brothers are high-minded and that's not a good uh spirit to have around certain brothers you know especially if you're acting a certain way with with certain brothers but you're a different way with other brothers that's not the right spirit you're supposed to be you're supposed to be you all the way around you know what i'm saying and that's one thing that i look at you know, you, you act a certain way with these certain brothers, but another bro these other brothers, you're a different way. That's not, that's not, that's that, that's not right. You have to really, really reevaluate re yourself. We're not, we're not, we're of the same body, you know. The, 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 the weak things, you know, matter of fact, let me bring it out right here. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we're doing, right? We're, we're, um... Uh, protecting the fold, we're uh, raising up men, right? We're doing all this stuff, but yet, you know, certain brothers are being certain ways. That's not keeping your integrity. That's not being honest with yourself. You're being uh, your your favorite. You know, your your what they, what they call in the world favoritism. You know, nepotism. Uh, this is First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse um, twenty-two. Nay. 
much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary you see are necessary man and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these we bes we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness for our comely parts have no need but Yahweh hath tempered the body together having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked you see that man because the most high is looking at that one those ones that are of, of broken contrite spirits man that are of that are still of child childlike okay that brother has the ability to the spirit and power of Yahweh is to hold up another brother that is of a higher degree you know and cause like I said we're all one body man we can't you gotta be honest man be honest with yourself and a brother or I'm, so I'm gonna talk about an elder if an elder a leader of a, of a camp you know it, it knows how it has the ability has, has learned that has developed that skill on how to abase himself to a brother that's through the, 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 the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's a a gift and and a, and that takes experience now if you're a, a an elder or leader that don't have that ability in my from what i know and from what i've experienced that's not of, of a leader quality because a leader is is is, is fully is is well-rounded in all things okay he knows how to uh, adapt he knows how to con condescend to men of low estate you know, these are things that brothers have to. We all have to really look at and pay attention to, man. Because we're 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 governing. Lord willing, if you're the elect, if I'm the elect, Yahweh Shai. That's what He's preparing us on how to do, on how we're gonna judge righteously. On how we deal with one another. You know, and always remember your first love, and remember who you are, man. Ultimately. You know, because the scriptures say, you know, we're going to be transformed into new creatures. But, you know, some brothers had have, have certain qualities before coming into the truth. Now they're just going to be enhanced. Now they're just going to be enhanced to, to, to a higher level. You know, but we had to remember, you know, as, as, as when we were children, man. There are certain things that we had that were that other people would be amazed of. Like, man, hey. I respect that. You got grown men telling little children, hey, I respect that shit, man. Like, you need to keep that. You know what I'm saying? And I hope, you know, the listener understands where I'm coming from regarding this. You know? If you understand, you you're 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 of experience, man. You know you know what, what what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, where was I? Let's go back to First Corinthians eight. Or I was reading off. Um First Corinthians eight and nine, but take heed least by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. For if any man see thee which has knowledge sit at meat in the idol's temple, Shall not the conscience of him which is weak be be emboldened to eat those things which are offered to idols? And through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish from whom Yahweh Hamashiach died. Alright, so let's go let me look up that word and and emboldened emboldened. It says the outline of biblical usage to build a house, erect a building, to build up the up from the foundation, to restore by building, to rebuild, repair, right metaphor to to found, establish, to promote growth in Christian wisdom, affection, grace, virtue, holiness, blessedness, to grow in wisdom and piety, piety, 
Let me look up the word piety. It says the quality of being religious or fervent acts of piety and charity, a belief or point of view that is accepted with unthinking conventional reverence to the accepted pieties of our time. It says the 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 piety. I'm pr Lord willing, I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, is a uh, dev devoutness, devotion. Uh. Uh. Religion, holiness, godliness, saintliness, veneration, reverence, faith, you know. So that, that that's basically you have uh, integrity, you know, you have, you're growing in wisdom, you know. And that's what we have to be. That's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh wants, you know. But, you know, being honest with yourself, being, um, a good student, a good leader, you know, it's like when you're in, in a, uh, an advanced martial arts, I'm going to use jujitsu ju as an example. You started off with white belt, basically meaning a beginner, you know, and the black belt is, it represents a master. Okay. But that takes years to get to a black belt years. It's not like an, an basic karate you know basic or i'm gonna be like taekwondo taekwondo you can advance quickly okay but within jujitsu it's more advanced it's, it's a more technique there's more you know things of that nature that you have to develop skills you know um to get to that level of black belt it's more serious it's more of an like i said an, an advanced art that's what jujitsu means, a gentle art. So it takes time to get to that level. But within that growing process, your 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 you know, your your master, what do you want to call him, your trainer, that is of that level, you know, that's experienced, that's that's competed, and that's won, you know, and then you know, has the ability to teach. He he will tell you that you have to be honest with yourself. You have to know what what it is that you want. That you what what do you want? You have to have discipline. You have to have uh. You can't have lack of motivation. You know. But even if that that one individual is a white belt, you know, for a year, you know, two years, but that individual is in there because, and 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 because he has that, that 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 fire he has that um that that sincerity towards this to, towards the craft regardless of what anybody thinks but that white belt has the ability to be at a level of a brown belt that can give a brown belt um you know competition you know what i'm saying but there's still that mutual, that there's still that respect. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to use the best analogies, you know, of, of, of growing in this thing and, and having a, a sincere and honest spirit, you know, and to grow. But like, like I said, embolden is to basically to grow in wisdom, to build a house, right? So it said, uh, for if any man see, the, see thee which has knowledge sit at the meat in the idol's temple, Shall not the conscience of him which is weak be emboldened to eat those things which are off, offered to idols? And through thy knowledge shall the weak brother perish for whom Yahweh Shemashiach died. Right? So he, you know, he's going to want to get to that level. He's going to want to be built up. But not knowing that he, it can, it can uh, weaken him. He can be offended in that. But when you, but when you sin so against the brethren, and would wound their weak conscience, you sin against Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Wherefore, if me make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend. You know, and it's a hard learning process too, man. You know, but once we we once we've learned that, we've gone through that process. We have to we have to correct it. You know, we have to go about things different. 
you know what I'm saying, and, and, and be examples to the flock, as it says in the scriptures, you know, you know, and, and being a good example, a good steward, a good leader, good good teacher, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? But we have to keep remember to keep that integrity, that honesty, you know, being honest with ourselves, you know, not forgetting our first love. And know, knowing ourselves, man, you know what I'm saying, and and not acting like we're somebody, when when, when really we're we're nobody, you know, and it's all about just being humble, and just being, you know, thankful towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that we have this 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 calling, that we have this this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and stuff like that, you know, because there's 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 people, or brothers and sisters and women and children. Men that are out there that are that are uh, waiting to be sealed up, because Yahweh Shai is about to come back. But before then, we had to be properly uh, dressed and prepared for our the return of our husband. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, ho hopefully, you brothers understood where I'm coming from. You know, and how we had to you know be patient with brothers, and um. You know, just hope to y'all watch me. I'm shy that they grow and that they continue, and that we just keep doing the work. That we be examples, and and just seeking out our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know, because y'all was shy ain't here, as far as like in the flesh. Some certain brothers, like for myself, I don't got a, a, an elder or leader over me, or you know, or as far as like physically here in, in in my city, that's always telling me what I I, I should and shouldn't do. So. Certain brothers have to continue to rebuke themselves and, you know, fight against certain things, which is good because it's building you up for, you know, it, it, it's not always a bad thing to certain brothers that are out there by themselves preaching. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has he set up for a greater thing, you know, even though we're all in the same body, we're all the same body, um, fighting for the same cause, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, um, has has a certain brother set up for certain things and we have to be prepared for those things whatever they it may be you know it's like some people say oh you know I always think of for the worst you know what I'm saying I'm that type of person I think for the I think of the worst and that's just what it is as far as like but I gotta prepare myself for that I can't psych myself out I know that we live in an evil world and that's what that's what we get served you know what I'm saying and certain brothers that don't understand where I'm coming from, you ain't really learned or you're just being proud. But, um, yeah, you know, you got to prepare for the worst and prepare for the good. And the worst is what you're going to um, use as fuel to continue in the truth. But know that it's it's a possibility possibility that, the, uh, that it could happen to us. And because you don't want to be caught unawares, you don't want to be... Um, thinking that you're something and when you're nothing and then when it happens to you you know you bug out or you fall out you know what I'm saying because like Job he he kept his integrity you know like I like I read when he told his wife shall, shall we receive good and not evil you know what I'm saying so we got to be mindful of that and just be honest with ourselves because his, his wife was being foolish you know she wasn't being honest she she exposed herself as being a wicked person but Paul was, uh, Job was honest with himself, you know, and, and, you know, I just exhort, exhort and admonish brothers to be honest with yourself, to, to, to keep those, those, those beautiful, um, those beautiful characteristics that the world has lost, man, like loyalty, respect, you know, a, a sincere, honest spirit, you know, not, not following another man with, with pride or, arrogancy and you know um you know that 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 shit's all evil that's one of the seven abominable things that the most high hates matter of fact let me just bring it out this is in the book of proverbs because This is Proverbs 6, 
and 16. These six things that Yahweh hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And heart that devises wicked imaginations. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies. And he that soweth discord among brethren. You know, and like I said, the most high don't like none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? How much more a brother that is of a low degree that is um uh treated with the disdain or you know, you know, brothers, you know, we're in a time we're in a time of, 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 of you know, a lot of people are awoke to certain things, man. Attitudes, body language, um uh you know, we see we, we can see through the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I say, be honest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be honest, you know, sincere, humble. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what that's what's gonna make us feel better, you know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna make us feel not you know what? That that's 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 what's going to make you know that you're doing the right thing, you know what I'm saying, by being humble and, uh, you know, doing the best of your ability, the things that are obligated and that, that have been um, given to you to do, to fulfill, you know, there's going to come times where you have to go that extra mile, you're going to have to go hard and stuff like that and, and, um, uh, you know, but just always keep, just always stay true. You know what I'm saying? Stay true, you know, to the brothers. Stay true to y'all. Watch me out shy, you know, and stay true to yourself, man, because that's what's going to keep you going at the end of the day. You know, there's, there's, I don't know the proper saying, but, you know, people that are fake in the world, they don't, they don't survive. You know, they only go to a certain level, then they end up quitting and falling out and you know the true are the ones that go all the way to the end so i hope that was edifying to you brothers out there man you know what i'm saying um hey we all have our own different office we all have our own different purposes as far as like being in this ministry we're all pushing the same doctrine you know but certain like i said we all have to admonish and exhort each other and really think about the things that we do and what we say and how we come across and stuff like that and you know so hope it was edifying shalom